The Rock Job Site app by Recon Tools allows for easy calculations using measurements you've already created, as well as easy entry of fractional measurements. So there are two ways to enter the fractional calculator. The first, on our area page, we just click the plus button down here and go to the calculator screen. The second, if we're on the utilities page, you'll notice under utilities, the first icon over here, the first row underneath is calculator, and this also allows us to enter and enter the fractional calculator mode with it. So regardless of where we enter, same place, so we'll just head over here from our calculator page and first go over the components of the page here on it. So you'll notice the first thing we see here is the fractional layout. So the fractional layout allows us to enter fractions directly without having to toggle or hop between them. We have three separate keyboards for the main digit, the numerator, and the denominator. So that's the first one. The second screen has a series of what a normal calculator would look like and allows us to say you want to subtract 2.1, enter the same way we would any kind of calculator over here with it. So very simple, very straightforward. We'll just go ahead, delete that 2.1 equals, oops, hit the delete button by accident. Go up here and hit equals. And you notice that this will always be in the units that we have our project set in. So because we're in inches fractional for our global units, that's what we'll see over here. And then the final screen, if we swipe over one more time, so again, I get between these calculators by swiping is the measurement entry page. So these are taking all the measurements that are in our area. So you can see here, if I eliminate this one, you'll see we have six measurements over here. And if I go to the calculator screen, we'll have six measurements on this screen, which we're also able to use as part of our calculation. So if I wanna say subtract 12 and 3 eighths from here, swipe over here, 12 and 3 eighths, hit equals, get my new answer. And I'm able to use all my measurements, whether by creating them manually using one of these two screens or using a previously captured one over here with it. So we have all those for the basic functionality. If I wanna save this measurement back to my grid, I hop up here, click the save icon, go back over there and you'll notice it'll populate back on our main screen with it. So going back over there, we also have a history function. So if I click next to the save icon, you'll notice the history icon. If I click that, you can see all of our previous measurements are gonna be saved here. So say I wanna go back here, I would just click that. And now I have my previous measurement on here and everything works linearly. So I can now go on from there. If I wanna subtract say 600 inches from that, I can go ahead and continue the measurement here without having to re-enter anything. So all of my previous measurements and calculations are swipeable on here. Saving a measurement brings it back to the main screen. History shows previous measurements, AC resets this and allows us to start again from scratch with it. So a lot of functionality built into there really allows us to navigate around and do any kind of operations we want to with it. So in this last example, we could show say taking a measurement, which again, you can see some of our measurements from our T1 are automatically saved over here with it. So say I captured my first measurement of 17 and 17 30 seconds, pop that in here. I need to take out the width of uh, say a piece of material I'm doing, which is three and uh, five eighths of an inch here with it get the sign over there, but say I forgot, I need to multiply it by three or say, let's, let's divide it into three equal sections as you know, fractional math can certainly get tricky. So enter the wrong digit there. We'll divide by three and equally able to go on this screen and hop over there as well with it. So any, any way you want, you can hop over to it. So divide by three and we get our final answer over here, four inches and change, hit the save button up here. And now I have the four and five eighths over here. I can label it, say this is for uh, two by four or whatever you can go ahead, label it in there. Now you have your label and you're able to do whatever you want with the measurement. So again, the fractional calculator has a lot of really cool functionality built into it. We have parentheses for changing the order of operations, any kind of mathematical operation, percentages on the main number screen, as well as choosing all of your previous measurements over here, history picking up over here with it. So really streamline the process of capturing measurements and having a very easy interface to use in order to capture and save all your measurements and have to not have to worry about converting any kind of fractional entry into a decimal format. Really easy and convenient to do this all in one centralized screen here in the Rock Job Site app.